Welcome everyone. This video is all about releasing tension or muscle soreness in your upper back. It's a quick video, so we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Find a comfortable seat, whether that's seated on your heels or crisscross. And on your next inhale, press your chest forward, opening up, pulling your shoulder blades back in together. As you exhale, round, press your back towards the back wall. Continue this movement, inhale, open up the chest, pull the shoulder blades back, and exhale, round everything forward, pull your belly button back towards your spine. Continue moving here at your own pace, taking this time to tune into your body and your breath. As you move here, option to take the shoulders in a circular motion, pulling them up towards your ears as you come forward, pulling them down and back along your spine as you open up. So inhale up towards the ears, open, exhale, roll them down and back. Next time you're rounded, hold there. Bring your hands in front of you and interlace the fingers, pressing out towards the front wall. Move the hands a little bit towards your left, opening up that top shoulder a little. Come through center and to your right side. So that left palm will come up a little bit, the right palm will come down. To the left and to the right. Left and right. As we move side to side here, keep that tension in the hands and in the arms. We're pulling the shoulder blades apart from each other here right and left continue this movement find your way at center and as you inhale you'll take a big sweeping motion with the arms open up exhale round forward press 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 round Inhale, open, big sweep with the arms, and exhale, round forward. Inhale, open, and round forward. Make your way onto all four shoulders, stacked directly over the wrists and hips, over the knees. Traditional cat cow here first, round through the back. Hold there. Any little movements you like to take side to side to help that feel good. Keep pressing through the shoulders. Next, inhale, send your gaze up high, find an arch in your back, and exhale, round up towards the ceiling. Inhale, look up, and exhale, round. Look up, and round. Look up, and round. Hold in that rounded position. Press your rib cage to the right. Through center and to the left. Hold that center. Press to the right. And to the left. Back at center, inhale the gaze up high. And this time reach your right hand up towards the sky. Weight comes into the left hand as you take some rotations in the shoulder, eventually weaving the right arm all the way underneath your chest. So the right shoulder comes down, left arm extends in front of you and your right ear comes to the mat. Continue to breathe here. And 
go ahead and release to all fours. Send your left arm up high. Take those rotations, little circles in the shoulder, and weave it all the way under for the same stretch on the other side. Left ear will come all the way down. Hips stay stacked right over the knees. gently release back to all fours round your back up towards the ceiling take some rocking motions forwards and backwards lower down to your forearms continue rounding pressing through your upper back release and exhale arch a little inhale look up and exhale round as you exhale, you'll straighten through your hands, round through your back. As you inhale, you'll drop your elbows down, flatten out your back. Round and straighten. Drop the elbows and flatten. Round up. And drop down. Round up. And drop down. A couple more. Round up. And drop down. Hold at the bottom, send your gaze up high, find a little arch in your back, take any wiggling motions that feel good here, eventually sinking back towards child's pose. For an extra upper back release from child's pose, take your hands around your sides to reach towards your heels and lift your hips up towards the ceiling the closer you can get your forehead in towards your knees, the more release you'll get along your upper back, the more intense the stretch there. Gently release your hips back towards your heels. Find yourself in a child's pose again. Take a few breaths here to center in. Begin to make your way to a comfortable seated position. Reach your arms wide and give yourself a big hug. Left arm over the right, reaching for opposite shoulders. Round out through your upper back here as much as you can. To get a little further here, you can take eagle arms. Now, if the backs of your hands just come together and you can't get the full twist there, no worries, just take that variation. If you can get the full twist though, palms will come towards one another or that bottom hand might reach the wrist. Keep your shoulders down and back as you lift your elbows to shoulder height. Go ahead and release the hands and reset up with the opposite arm on top. Setting up the eagle arms on this side. Take your variation. And gently release the hands, reach them wide and exhale round out towards the front of the room go ahead and interlace your fingers in front of you and begin to draw big circles moving counterclockwise as we move here we're hitting lots of different angles in the upper back 
releasing all that tension and switch directions. Next time you're at the bottom of the movement, hold there. Inhale, lift tall, and exhale, round forward. Lift tall, round forward. Lift, and round, and release. So I'm turning around so you can get a little bit better view of what's going on behind. Take your hands in a clasp behind your back. And first, open up your shoulder blades, pulling them towards one another. Also an option to reach for opposite elbows. So get a little counter stretch, a chest opener here. Keep your hands in a clasp behind your back and move them to the outside of your left hip or your waist and drop your left ear over towards your left shoulder. This should facilitate a nice stretch along the right side of your neck. Go ahead and release through center. And we'll switch to the other side. Drop your right ear to right shoulder. Your clasped hands come to the outside of the right side of your body. Return to center, open up the shoulders once again, open up the chest. We'll go ahead and release the feet wide on your mat in front of you. Round out, use your arms and your hands to traction your upper back, get an extra release. Inhale, open up the chest forward, and exhale, round back. Allow yourself to roll all the way onto your back here. Keep your knees bent or have your legs wherever is comfortable. We'll take a shoulder stretch. The right arm comes across your body, hooking the left arm around your right. Go ahead and release that switch. Left arm comes across your body, hooking the right arm over the left. And releasing that side. Extend both feet up towards the ceiling. We'll give our legs a little love here. Roll out the ankles. An option to come towards a plow pose or a deaf man's pose. So plow pose is with the legs extended, the feet come behind you all the way to the floor. If you'd like to try a variation of plow and come to deaf man's pose, the knees bend and come towards your forehead or towards your ears here. If you are in plow, you can play around with walking your feet a little bit to one side and a little bit to the other. That'll give you a deeper stretch along one side of your back versus the other side, depending on what side your feet are on. So play around with that. Feel free to pause the video and work on it your own. Wherever you're at, gently release all the way down to lying on your back. Give yourself a big hug in 
and exhale allow your back to lay flat against your mat your feet to come wide and your knees to fall in towards each other to give your low back a little love since we worked our upper back tons today we'll take a twist to the right side by pulling your left knee into your chest and over to the right gaze goes to the left Move through center and switch sides, right knee to the left, and gaze to the right. And make your way back to center. Give yourself a big hug on your mat. Hands reach for opposite sides of your body. Hold here, continue to take some breaths. Allow everything to cool down and slow down. Take this time to thank yourself for giving your body some care and attention when it needs its most, giving yourself some love. That's always good to do. And I want to thank you all for flowing along with me and tuning into this practice. I hope you enjoyed. Namaste.